But you do accept that human judgment does form an important part of forecasting and predictions because stuff sometimes happens. In Life is field, messy, isn't it? Uh, so Politics look, is messy. As people analyze more different factors and more, it, it is messy. This is the first thing we should understand. But uh, but whether that judgment, especially if uh, it comes from a pundit who's maybe maybe out of touch with what actual voters think, and they're going around to their cocktail parties and in Georgetown and surveying their other elite friends, um, you know, that, that chatter they hear, it may not be very useful. What they hear from the campaigns may be spin, noise as I would call it, and they misinterpret that as providing valuable insight and information. So sometimes I think sticking with simple things like polls that give voters a chance to express themselves directly um, is a better approach. Because you process data, you use statistics in certain models and, and that's how you make your predictions. But when you hear what somebody like the very prominent British pollster, sophologist Peter Kellner said, who founded YouGov, it, he applauds you and he says that you're brilliant at taking a lot of data, understanding it and taking out the biases. But this is what he says, without opinion polls and surveys, there would be no Nate Silver. Of you course. did well. You did well because the polls did well. And if you'd taken the averages of those polls, you would have reached the same conclusion. So I could have done that. Yeah, so it's not, that complicated. Done that. it's not that complicated. It's not that complicated, but you're getting all this attention. Well, I think it's because in politics it's kind of uh, the, the one-eyed man is, is king in the land of the blind. <laughs> that The coverage is, is so poor a lot of the time, and you have to sell newspapers, you have to sell television programs to say, oh, it's going to be a really close race, anyone could win. You want to appear unbiased, I suppose. Um, but, uh, and obviously people who are involved in politics directly, who are trying to spin a narrative about how my party might win, how my candidate might win. So a lot of very inaccurate information out there. So when Peter Kellner says you just did well because the polls were good and you just managed to get well, so it, is that a fair point that anybody could have done it really need, and that we, you're getting a lot of attention don't, but it's not I don't not conduct polls myself. Well, I think I said before the election I would get too much attention if Obama won and too uh, much blame if Romney one. Um, but what I would say is that we add value by looking at this in terms of probabilities. So you have a margin of error in a poll, but we look at how accurate polling has actually been. And also what happens when instead of having one poll, you have many different polls from many different states. Well, that can increase the accuracy a lot. So that's where we add values by, by giving you the odds and letting you, in essence, place a bet if you wanted to, um, and not in saying, oh, we know exactly what's going to happen. It's about, it's about weighing data and weighing information in the context of, of uncertainty and saying, how sure can you be?